Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. This is your part 17 update of the current ammo and gun shortages in America, year 2020. Start off the conversation, a little update on the dove hunt last Saturday. Last Saturday was the opening day of dove season in the great state of Georgia. There were six of us at this particular property and we've had very successful years, last two or three years. We definitely prepped the land, it was ready. However, it was a, a dismal turnout as far as the, the dove harvesting. There were a few handfuls of doves that flew over. Some of the fellas took a few shots, nobody bagged any. And even the shots of the doves were a little bit out of range. So no doves were harvested. We did hear a lot of shooting on distant fields. So we know that some people had some luck in the area, but we definitely did not. So, I mean, personally, I, I never took my two shotguns out of the truck. I just left them in. I did a lot of work at our camp, so it was a very productive day for me. Got to hang out with some of the fellas, but no doves. So that's the update there. I was going to try to provide some footage had we had a more successful day, but didn't get that opportunity. So for the fall, I hope to have some more hunting footage in various game species. Other areas of topic. I saw a Valuetainment interview today with a Harvard professor who has predicted successfully the last nine presidential elections. Now, he is a Democrat, but his system has proved true for the last nine elections. So even though he didn't want Trump to win his original election, he predicted that he was going to win, and of course he did. Now, something you need to know, he has predicted that this upcoming election, that Biden is going to be the winner. He has predicted that. Now, he didn't go into the science on, the, on that prediction. Um, he has various books that he has written on his systems, but he has predicted the last nine elections. So keep that in mind, and they have, his systems have held true. He, he tries his best not to basically inject his, his biases into his, his theories and his his predictions, of course, because that will completely undermine his systems. But that is his prediction. And let me tell you, regardless of whether you are Democrat, Democrat Republican, Libertarian, you need to know that it will be, of course, it will be Biden versus, versus Trump. And if Biden wins, there are absolute threats and, and agendas to threaten the Second Amendment. So if you thoroughly love the Second Amendment, I would say that Biden is probably not your candidate, even if you are, are a Democrat and you're at the same time a firm believer in the Second Amendment. You might want to think about who you want to, to vote in, but something of note, most important thing is go vote. Support the candidate that is the strongest supporter of your Second Amendment right. It's very important. Other news on Trump over the weekend, there were major Trump rallies all over the Southeast, the Middle South. I saw some footage from lakes around the Austin, Texas area, lakes in South Carolina. I have a friend that was on the lake all weekend at Lake Oconee in the Athens area. Also, a lot of friends were on Lake Lanier in North Georgia, major Trump rallies, thousands of boaters on these lakes with Trump flags and such. One something funny on Lake Oconee, there was a couple of boats loaded with females and all the females were topless. So I thought that was pretty entertaining. I asked my friend at the lake, I said, well, did you get any video footage, any pictures? He says, well, I was with the wife and her family. It wasn't really an opportunity to, to do such a thing as that. But I'm sure if you go look on the internet, you can find actual photos of this. So what I'm seeing on the street in my area, 
I'm not seeing any Biden rallies. Now, I'm not in the inner cities doing lots of exploring there, so I'm not, I am not. don't have visibility there. But I have lots of friends in the suburban, the rural areas of my state, and we are seeing major Trump rallies and support. Haven't seen any of the opposition. Moving on to a, another interesting area, and that is Academy Sports versus Walmart. Now, Academy Sports definitely has more inventory, more selection, but their prices are higher. So, comparing to Walmart. So, if you're looking for an item, if you can't find it at Walmart, definitely check out Academy, but I think Academy has a price match. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they do. Double check it. For example, I needed a recoil pad for a shotgun I took dove hunting last weekend. It's just a 12 gauge automatic, but it, it works, the mechanism works off of the recoil. It's not gas operated and it's just absolutely brutal if you're gonna be shooting it a lot. So I wanted to get one of the limb saver recoil pads. I have one of those on my turkey shotgun and it's, it's fantastic. So I wanted to go ahead and get one for that too. That same recoil pad at Walmart was about $17. At Academy, it was about $34. That's before tax. So there are some major price differences there. So if you wanna to try to save some money, try to do price matching if at all possible. Of course, check the internet as well. Also, I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I will mention it again. If you're having trouble finding stock, call up your older relatives, your grandmothers, your great uncles, your great aunts who are up there in age that may have lots of inventory, lots of stock they've bought over the years and they're just not using it now and probably not gonna use it. They might not even, they might even be physically incapable of to defend themselves and so offer them to buy their, their stock. So for example, my grandfather passed away last November and I swear the man had ammo tucked away in every nook and cranny of the house, the building, his, his, his vehicles. It was just everywhere. I'm still finding boxes of, of 22 ammo, 12 gauge ammo, just anywhere and everywhere. So call up those relatives, say, hey, do you have any extra ammo I can buy from you? or any other types of inventory. Chances are they probably do. I mean, going back, your grandparents, whether or not they're Democrat or Republican, most of them probably own firearms, probably more than one. So they probably have some type of stock and in inventory. So call them up, ask if, if you can buy it from them or if you could trade something for them or maybe do some work for them on their property. You, we know they need help, especially physical type work. Maybe trade some of your time and energies to help them and they can help you. So that's a great place to look for some stock. In regards to comments, Matthew McBride commented on my previous statements on me seeing lots of shotgun ammo in all the stores. Academy, Walmart, everywhere is loaded with shotgun shells, all gauges. But he did say, no buckshot or slugs. And that is true. I have not seen any buckshot or slugs. All I am seeing is number six shot and smaller. So six, seven, seven and a half, eight shot. I'm not sure if they make nine shot, but basically the larger in shot you get, the smaller the pellet size. So it's less effective at greater ranges. The smaller the shot, the less energy it retains at further distance. So up close and personal, it's still pretty effective, but start getting out there in range, less effective it's gonna be. So something of note, comment down below. What are you seeing in your area with your own two eyes? Let everyone know what suggestions, tips, tricks do you have as far as stocks, reloading? What are you doing in your preparations? Let everybody know. Tap the thumbs up icon, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna keep these updates coming, try to bring value in a variety of areas. 
check out other videos on the channel. We have about 97% of our audience being male in North America. So it's, it's definitely a value to you. Other means of support, you can Cash App or PayPal. Share this video as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.